Hi hey guys, today I'm sharing with you some of my favorite tear tray uh, decor DIYs that are in lemon and bee theme. So let's get started. I will need these wooden balls, some rope, yellow paint, as well as white paint. And I'm going to paint kind of half and half, I think. So I'm going to paint these white, yellow, and I'm going to leave these as they are. I just got this wooden dowel just so I can put these in here while I'm painting them. So my balls have dried, now I'm going to assemble them. So there, I think this will be great on my two-tier or three-tier tray. And to me, it represents lemon, even though it has really very little to do with lemons. <laughs> So for my next project, I have this from a Dollarama. It was four dollars. I've had it laying around, and I had an idea to make a sign with Mod Podge, just something easy. Just not sure how this is gonna work, but I will give it a try. I think I can make it work. So I'm gonna cut this out first, and I just printed it off of internet like off of I think it was Pinterest Now that I have it cut out I am going to apply a generous amount of Mod Podge on the back of it so that way um, I, it's, um, I make sure that it is glued to it well. Just trying to center it the best that I can. Now I will make the cuts in where the cuts are. I just think it will look better that way. And then I'm going to apply another generous amount of Mod Podge over top of it just so that way it's on permanently. So I was going to distress the outsides of it or or even paint it, but I absolutely love the way this sign tur turned out. It was so simple to make. Love it, love it, love it. I 
now I am moving to these round circles that had come from Dollarama and I'm painting one with black and one with white and once they had dried I start with the black one uh, with I mean with the white one and I'm going to be using a stencil that I got at Stockade um, it is a local store in a town in Guelph which is near me and uh, you can order stuff online so I will have uh, the link in the description box for you to check out so I'm using my Buffalo check uh, stencil to stencil the pattern and I'm using black to stencil the pattern on with uh, you could also use that um, Buffalo check um, a fabric that comes from Dollar Tree I think that would look great as well I unfortunately ran out of it so um, I am doing the pattern I mean the stencil and then I paint a circle that I traced from the mason jar lid on it and then ones that had dried I just draw a B and I'm using a water-based marker that came from Michaels I think this is such a cute sign and uh, I love um, the the yellow because I think well most of my summer decor has a ton of yellow so this goes really well with my decor now when I finished doing the B I felt like this needed is some sort of a border so I just take the same marker and I just draw uh, somewhat of a same thickness border all the way around and I think this just made the piece um, look more put together or complete. For the next uh, DIY, this one was more of a trash to treasure with a little bit of uh, Dollar Tree. I'm sure we all have some of these candle uh, containers from Bath and Body Works. I love keeping these because they are so versatile and you can create so many different DIYs with them. So this one was the white wisteria, I think it was, uh, no, white gardenia flower. And uh, I am just removing the sticker with this little handy tool. Uh, that I got at dollar store and more and uh, because you I just wanted to make sure that I have a clean slate for uh, the next step I had purchased this um, kitchen uh, rag at Dollar Tree and I will be using it uh, to dress up the container I think also another thing that you could do is if you found some napkins that are the pattern that you want you could do this as well I think that would look look nice so I'm just measuring out to see how what the length and the width of the material I need to cut because then that way I can use the rest of the other parts of the material for some other DIY I will be using Mod Podge to glue this on. I do put a little bit of hot glue, which you will see in a little bit, just to keep it in place because it was sliding on me a bit more than I liked it to. So I just go around and then I also cover the outside of the rag with Mod Podge as well. I love with the way this turned out I think it looks really cute with some greenery but you could also put some candles in it as well next project was also trash to treasure with some uh, uh, dollar store items so I have all these uh, pieces of uh, fabric that were scraps from other projects I've got some brown bur dark brown burlap, light brown burlap, some buffalo check, also yellow burlap, and some canvas that I use to make pillows over the Easter 
uh, for DIY period. So um, I, and I have still quite a bit of pe quite the pieces left over. So I wanted to use them up. So I just cut all these pieces to fit on top of this scrap piece of wood, and I use hot glue. And a rotary, so I use a rotary cutter to cut them, hot glue to glue them. But before I glue them, I fringe. I only fringe the uh, dark brown one, uh, which will be my base, my background. <laughs> Next I add a layer of this canvas and I use the rotary cutter just to straighten everything out. I do not fringe this material. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoy lemon DIYs. I have a couple more coming uh, planned for uh, the upcoming weeks. So I would love to know if this is something you enjoy uh, as much as I do. So once I glued that on, I move on to cutting out a piece of yellow burlap, but I'm going to draw out a lemon shape. Tried with a pencil, it didn't really work, so I take a marker and I just, like I said, draw on a shape of a lemon. Uh, that fits inside that canvas. You also want to leave a little bit of room for the leaves because you want to add some leaves too. And then I cut out a smaller uh, lemon by tracing the yellow burlap lemon first and then just cutting out one that's a tiny bit smaller. And I use the buffalo check uh, fabric to cut that out, out of. I love, like I said, mentioned before, adding the buffalo checks with lemons. I think it just looks so well together. So I glue them together and then I glue them onto the little sign. And for the leaves, because I didn't have, I ha all the uh, green fabric that I had was really, really bright and I didn't love it. So I end up just using that green marker to draw on and color in the leaves. I did think this sign is so cute and would look absolutely amazing on your tear tray if you have a tear tray that's big enough to uh, hold it up. It's just so simple and I think so cute. For my next project, I cut up three pieces of scrap wood that I had left over from a different project and spray painted them with the same chalk paint. This is just faster than painting them and I am doing three sides uh, and the top, I'm not doing the bottom. And then once that, while that was drying, I have had this piece that I cut off for a last uh, project I was working on. I cut that off. It was actually a part that goes inside a toilet plunger um, and I, I wasn't using it. Luckily, I saved it and then I came up with an idea to uh, make a honey is it a honey spoon honeycomb spoon so I took apart an old paintbrush and took that wood piece of the paintbrush and glued it on to that um, piece from the toilet plunger I think this ended up fabulous it looks exactly like one I have for my honey so once these pieces of wood were dry, I move on to assembling. What I'm doing is creating a book stack that I want to use on my tear tray, my summer tear tray. So I am going to glue these together. You just want to make sure that all the painted sides are what's showing, not the unpainted side. Once they were all glued together, I took my marker and just wrote sweet like honey and I also drew um, a little bee 
I took out all these different markers because I wasn't sure which one was going to work the best. And first time was a charm this time around. Once I was done with that, I take a piece of rope and wrap it all the way around several times. Once I reach the end, I leave a little bit of, of each side um, on there um, so I can tie the little honey spoon on it. To finish it off, I apply some dripping hot glue on it so it looks like it's dripping off and then I add a little bit of yellow paint, uh, rub it on with a cloth and then uh, add a little bit more of the hot glue over it just so it's not so bright but I wanted it to look like honey. I think this turned out so cute and it's going to look so good on my tear tray. For this project I have uh, this uh, piece of plaque from uh, the Dollarama. I've had it for a while and I'm going to apply a very light coat of white acrylic paint and I'm going to use a sponge brush to apply it and then I'm also going to take a rag and just rub any ex um, extra paint that was on it off. found this image online I just googled um, vintage lemonade uh, free printable and I printed it off uh, and then I'm going to cut everything out individually just so I can fit it onto that piece of wood To glue it on I am using some Mod Podge and I'm going to apply it on the bottom and on the top. And you kind of want to play around with it a little bit to make sure that everything fits if your piece of wood is that as small as mine.
love the way the sign turned out. I think it's very summery and I can't wait to use it in my decor. Now this one, I'm sure you guys have seen it. Tons of people are doing it. I am making a beehive and I'm just using some twine to wrap it around. Um, I think another um, uh, one of those nautical ropes would look really good to wrap around as well and a thicker jute rope would look good too I only have the twine right now so that's what I'm using and you just want to wrap it around make it as tight as you can um, all the way through the uh, the pot uh, I am using terracotta pot you can use um, any pot you really have or a vase or anything that kind of somewhat resembles a beehive if you are enjoying my video so far make sure you hit that like button it helps me out a lot by letting me know that you guys enjoy these type of videos and don't forget to leave a comment once you are finished letting me know which one was your favorite. Make sure you uh, make some form of a point on your pot if it doesn't have it so because you want it to have a bit of a point. So I put tons of glue there and then I am just going to pull it out a little bit just to lift it up. Once you are done lifting up, don't forget to add a little circle in the middle. I've been wanting to make this one for a while and I think it looks so cute. Now this one I uh, have picked up the set of these um, hexagon uh, wood shapes from I think this was from Dollar so your dollar store with more and I am painting a border with black acrylic paint and then, but only on the outside I just really wanted that to be kind of stand out and uh, uh, yeah just pretty much the border to make it kind of pop and stand out and then I'm going to paint the middle with the yellow acrylic paint as well as the sides now because I'm doing it right right after some of the black dust pull in a little bit and I'm okay with that I think it just makes it all look a little bit on a rustic side and once this has completely dried I take my black water based marker and I just draw some honeycombs in it I do color them in and then once that's done I wanted to write with some um, thinner point marker but none of them were working for me so I actually ended up taking just a black pen and that seemed to have worked for the the, the top where I just say be sweet like and then honey I write with the thick marker Now I dug back into my scrapbooking stash and I took this um, B stamp that I've had, it's a wooden stamp, and I just put some of that water-based marker on it and stamped it on. And this looked really, really good, I think. I have 
have to say this one was one of my favorites so I am using some leftover uh, drop cloth material that I've had um, it, this is in like canvas style material I picked this up at Dollarama a while back and I've made several pillows with it already so I am making a mini pillow for my tray and using a hot glue gun to um, glue the pillow together and then before I stuff the pillow I do turn it inside out or the right side in I guess because you want it to be inside out uh, when you're gluing it I use a pencil or uh, the end of a brush to push the corners out and then I just take my marker and just write sweet on it and draw a B this was so simple to make and it looks so cute on my tray and then once I have finished drawing the B on I just uh, stuff it with some pillow stuffing that I have on hand that I had saved from old pillows and just hot glue it together and you want to turn the the ends in and then glue it together <laughs> 